Y just give me one second. Du, 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 du. Sorry, let me go with this. Okay, good evening, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate a lot. And thank you so much for being in the class. My name is Christian Mueller. I am going to be your teacher for this level. So nice to meet you to all of you. And let me tell you a little bit about me. First, I am 27 years old. I am an English teacher. That's my profession. I am from El Salvador. I live in Santa Ana. I work for e cc program. I work for uh, Ministerio de Educación in El Salvador. I work for INSAFOR program as well. So yes, I have three different jobs. So in this case, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure for me being here with you. So let me switch to Spanish. Un gusto a todos. Mi nombre es Cristian Müller. Tengo 27 años. Soy del Salvador. Vivo en Santa Ana. Y como les menciono, no solo trabajo para INSAFOR program, sino que también trabajo para e cc También trabajo para el Ministerio de Educación. Y sí, tengo tres diferentes trabajos. I mean, it's a little bit rushed. Es un poquito apresurado, but yes, así nos toca. So nice to meet you all. Un gusto conocerlos a todos. Just help me with your cameras, please. Solo ayúdeme con su cámara, because remember that this is an online class. Recuerde que esta es una clase online. No es una clase de cámara apagada. So please help me with your cameras. If not, I will remove you from the class. Si no, los voy a remover de la clase. Please, please. Now, then. Remember that you need to speak in English or at least try to uh, try to speak in English. Yo sé que es primero el primer módulo de inglés que van a llevar. Yo sé que no hablamos full inglés, pero al menos algún vocabulario debemos de tener. So for that reason, you need to make the effort to speak English. Por esa razón tiene que hacer el esfuerzo para hablar inglés. Why? Because if not, you are not going to learn. Porque si no, usted no va a aprender. And if you really want to speak in English, you need to practice. Y si de verdad quiere aprender inglés, necesita practicar. And it's an obligation. Aquí no se han conectado solo para sonreír a la cámara y verse bonitos. No. Aquí se conectaron para aprender inglés. Aquí se han conectado para practicar inglés. So if you really want to do this, lo van a hacer. Pero si usted quiere aprender español, va a seguir hablando español y va a seguir practicando español porque eso es lo que quiere aprender. So este curso es de inglés. Don't confuse yourself. No, confund, no se confunde usted mismo. Esto es un curso de inglés. So, as I mentioned, guys, we are going to start with the presentation then. Let me share my presentation and let me go with this. Now, welcome to English Corporativo by Rachel International. Eh, inglés Principiante Módulo 1. So, eso es su primer nivel. Mi nombre es Cristian Bernardo Müller Palucha, as I mentioned, and this is the first level of the course. Now, information general or general information about the online cl classes or courses. During this level, guys, or during this course, you are going to use the following tools. Usted va a utilizar las siguientes herramientas. First, the platform for English Corporativo. La plataforma de English Corporativo. Segundo, usted va a utilizar Zoom para conectarse. Y tercero, usted va a utilizar WhatsApp para enviarme su práctica over there, para enviarme la práctica promedio de WhatsApp, porque les voy a dejar tarea extra para que puedan mejorar rápidamente. So that will be about the three platforms. ¿Tienen alguna duda, consulta acerca de las platforms? Ajá, ¿no dudas, no consultas? No, ok, cool. Si no hay dudas, no hay consultas acerca de las platforms, let's go with this. Horario de clase, las clases de parte se darán por medio de Zoom, guys, tienen una duración de una hora. So, de 8 a 9 de la noche, ustedes van a estar de lunes a jueves para usted recibir una tutoría de cómo utilizar los temas y para cómo practicar usted los temas que va a ir desarrollando en su plataforma de estudiante. So, that's super important. Que usted tenga claro que solo son cuatro días los que se van a conectar y de allí el resto usted practique en plataforma. Las actividades en trabajo de plataforma son 100% obligatorias. No, just give me one second. Margarita, be careful with your microphone. Now, si usted tiene que hacer en plataforma, es un trabajo. Por ende, guys, en este trabajo usted va a tener que estar trabajando diario. Let me share with you the platform. Déjeme compartir la plataforma. Now, 
this is the platform. Esa es la plataforma que van a utilizar. Just let me share again the screen so you can have it this. Okay, this is the platform. Esta es la plataforma. So this is the platform que usted va a utilizar. Primero se vienen aquí al curso, aquí van a ver secciones y se, se fijan, el curso está dividido en cinco secciones, si no estoy mal. Yes, cinco secciones. Por ende, usted tiene que ir trabajando sección por sección para completar el curso. Si usted no trabaja la sección, créame que no va a tener nota de ninguna actividad. So, eso es obligatorio que usted al menos, al menos, al menos, esta semana tenga lista la sección 1 y la sección 2 para esta semana, para poder avanzar y poder practicar rápidamente. Solo nos van a quedar la sección 3, 4 y 5, ya les voy a explicar cómo funciona. But yes, over here, aquí en la plataforma usted va a ir viendo cómo vamos avanzando poco a poco. Aquí tienen los temas que vamos a ver, como eh, the, possessive, the possessive adjectives, the alphabet, the verb to be, the numbers. So, esos son los temas que vamos a ver durante el primer, la primera sección, la primera sección. So we are going to practice about that. So this is about the platform. Y esta es la plataforma en la que usted va a hacer su tarea, I repeat. So please do your homework because that's important. That homework is super, super important. So let me go with this. And I will share the link in WhatsApp as well so you can have the platform over there. Now let me go with this. If we are clear with the platform, if we are clear with that, let me share again my screen in my presentation. And let me go to my presentation over here. Something that you need to have clear, guys, is this. That first, we need to do the homework and evaluation. So it says, es necesario obtener el 80% de sus tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfacto satisfactoriamente. So las tareas se encuentran en plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de la clase o puede adelantar contenidos. Como ustedes se, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completadas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche y aquí les da la fecha y hora, ya que es un registro que es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor, o sea que yo les voy a estar compartiendo material extra si yo lo veo necesario y si no, pues solamente nos quedamos con lo que vemos en clase. Pero don't worry, yo siempre les voy a compartir todo para que usted tenga las herramientas que van a necesitar. So, la primera semana, the first week, you are going to accomplish or you are going to fulfill. Usted va a completar la sección 1 y la sección 2. O sea que para el día viernes usted tiene que tener completada la sección 1 de plataforma y la sección 2 de plataforma. Son temas cortos, no son actividades o temas largos. Por ende, van a completar rápidamente esto. Segundo, tiene que tener que para la semana 2 vamos a tener completada la sección 3 y vamos a hacer un midterm. Y vamos a, en este caso, un midterm sería como un pequeño quiz de la sección 1 y 2 y 3. Ahí les va a salir el quiz en plataforma para que usted lo pueda completar. Es un quiz, es un laboratorio acerca de lo que ha visto, tanto en la semana 1, semana 2 y lo que va a ver en la semana 3. So, ahí usted ya tiene todas las herramientas. La semana 3 es solo para la sec sección 4 y la semana 4 eh, sería solo para la sección 5 y el examen final. Que todo, repito, todo, todo, todo va a quedar en plataforma. Usted no va a enviar nada, usted no va a hacer nada. Yo no les voy a dar otra manera, este, yo no les voy a dar otra herramienta que no sea plataforma. Just give me one second, I need to send this. And let me go to your group over here. So, over there you have this. Se, se los envío para que lo tengan en mente y se los envío para que lo tengan presente, places plus. Now let me share again my screen to the presentation. And now let me go with this. Now over here, and this is super important, so please pay attention to this. El botón de silencio. En este caso lo tenemos que tener activado. Todo mundo tiene que estar on mute a menos que yo les diga practiquemos. O al menos que yo les diga repita después de mí. O al menos que yo les diga hablen, pero si no, usted tiene que estar muteado, on mute. ¿Por qué? Porque en su casa hay un montón de ruido que se le llama background noise y eso afecta a los compañeros que están recibiendo la clase y afecta también la grabación. ¿Por qué? Porque hace interferencia en lo que estamos hablando. So that's why tienen que estar on mute a menos que yo les diga actívenlo. Then, la lista de asistencia, la asistencia es obligatoria, por ende usted se tiene que conectar de lunes a jueves sí o sí. 
a menos que esté enfermo, a menos que tenga una emergencia, a menos que de verdad yo entienda, no se puede conectar, es la única falta justificada que yo puedo tener. Pero si yo no veo que se conectaron porque estaba que con falla de internet, con no tenía ganas de conectarse, ahí sí no. Necesito de verdad que se conecte, que seamos responsables en ese caso y que de verdad nos conectemos para aprender inglés. Porque si usted no se conecta para aprender, créame que nunca vamos a mejorar y nunca vamos a aprender. So please be careful on that. Just give me one second, please. Okay, let me put it over here. Now, then, necesito que me cambien. No haciendo la cámara, está encendida ahorita aquí ya. Please, please, be careful con los micrófonos, please, please. Todo el mundo póngase en mute. Now, y necesito que me pongan sus nombres completos como aparece en su DUI, porque hay unos que tienen mi net, hay unos que tienen el número del celular, hay unos que tienen nombre de mujer y son hombres. So please, necesito que me cambien su nombre, a su nombre real, porque yo no le voy a decir 74886839, no. So please, change your name. Ponga su nombre completo y correcto. Now, then... Si usted tiene alguna consulta, usted tiene alguna duda, levante la mano digital para poder hacer la duda, para poder hacer la pregunta y yo les voy a ayudar. Pero please, 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 necesito que haya orden. El grupo es grande, son 30 personas casi. So please, necesito que todos seamos ordenados en eso. La asistencia en las clases es del 80%. Usted se tiene que conectar, en este caso, a la mayoría de las clases. El avance y el desarrollo de plataforma depende de usted. En este caso, aquí dice que el inicio de clases era el 30 de mayo. No, el inicio de clases es en este caso el, ¿cuánto tenemos ahora? 19 de junio, en el horario establecido de 8 a 9, de lunes a jueves. Siempre van a tener su cámara encendida. Aquí no hay excusa para tener la cámara apagada. Todos son hijos de Dios, todos son bonitos, así que nadie apague su cámara, que aquí nadie es feo. So please, se encienda su cámara. Y si tiene vergüenza, pues imagínese que es su espejo en la casa y pues ahí se está viendo. So, please, active su cámara que aquí nadie le va a decir nada. Y segundo, necesito que practiquen y no tengan miedo a hablar. ¿Por qué? Porque si no, créanme que es por gusto que yo les estoy enseñando aquí y es por gusto que yo les quiero enseñar inglés. Si usted no habla, si usted no practica y si usted no produce aquí en la clase. So, please, necesito que hable. Ese es el objetivo de esto. Hable, hable, hable. So, let's start over here. Oh, something that I will say is, yo en las clases nunca hablo español. So, esta es la única excepción que van a tener de mí hablando español. Si tienen alguna consulta, duda o de algo que no han entendido, traten de hacerlo, pero yo se les voy a explicar todo en inglés. La clase es en inglés, no en español. Así que no me van a pedir hablar en español que no le entendí. Hagan el esfuerzo de entender lo que estamos viendo. Preste atención a lo que estamos viendo y haciendo, porque si no presta atención a lo que estamos haciendo o viendo, no van a entender. So we are going to start, guys. And my first question over here for you. Just let me share with you my screen. Let me see what is it, what is it? This one. Let me go with this. Now everybody repeat after me, please. Todo el mundo repita después de mí. How do you feel today? Everybody repeat, repeat, repeat. How do you feel today? Uh -huh. How do you? Do. How, do, how you do you feel today? That's correct. How do you feel today? How do now, you feel today? What is the meaning of how do you feel today in Spanish? ¿Cómo estás ahora? That's correct. Perfect. Now over here I will say today I am today I am feeling super happy. Okay, everybody, repeat, please. Today, I am feeling super happy. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Today, Today, I am feeling, I am feeling super, happy. super happy. That's correct. So, over here, you have some emotions. Everybody, repeat after me, please. Hum. Hum. Repeat. Calm. Calm. Angry. 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 Sleepy. 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 Sad. Sad. Shy. 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 Tired. Tired. Happy. 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 Worried. Worried. Proud. 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 Hurt. Hurt. Afraid. 
Afraid. Shocked. That's correct. So over here, guys, these are some emotions. These are some feelings that you are going to tell me. How do you feel today? So you are going to take your notebook, pen or pencil, and you are going to say, oh, okay, today I am feeling angry. Today I am feeling sad. Today I am feeling afraid. Today I am feeling proud. So tell me, how do you feel today? Plus, plus. You have 30 seconds, only 30 seconds, please. Write your sentence in your notebook. Go. Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you feel today? Plus, plus. Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you feel today? How do you feel today? Plus, plus. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me how do you feel today? Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you feel today? How do you feel today? Plus, plus. plus. Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you feel today? 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you feel today? How do you feel today? Plus, plus, plus. How do you feel today? Five, four, three, two, one. Let me check your answers. So let me go with Jenny, it's Elizabeth. Tell me, how do you feel today? Jenny, 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 how do you feel today? Activate your microphone. Microphone, microphone, microphone. You're on mute, 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 mute. Uh -huh. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Remember, today I am feeling. <laughs> Pay attention, girl. Pay attention. Presta atención. Now, Natalie, sorry, Natalia, Melissa, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling super happy. Thank you so much. That's good. Now tell me how do you feel today, please, Virgilio. Today I am feeling super happy. Thank you. That's good. Now, Saira Marilu, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling super happy. Thank you. Good job. Victor, Victor Manuel, sorry, how do you feel today? Victor, 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 you're on mute. Microphone, microphone. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Microphone, you're on mute, 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 mute. No, that's the camera, Victor. The microphone, microphone. No, there, okay, cool. Let me continue. No, me del Carmen, tell me, how do you feel today? Oh, microphone. Uh -huh, tell me. Repeat, repeat, repeat. How do you feel today? No sé nada inglés. Mm, pay attention. Es que aquí no es que sepa o no sepa. Yo les acabo de dar la respuesta de cómo se dicen las cosas y les di el vocabulario. Preste atención, please. Now, Mario Alberto, how do you feel today? Mario Alberto. Mario Alberto, five. Mario Alberto, four. No, Mario Alberto in the class. Okay, let me go with this. Now, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, please, please. How do you feel today, Daisy Carolina? Daisy Carolina, microphone. Daisy Carolina, five, four, three, two. Today, I am feeling super happy. Thank you. Isabel, tell me, how do you feel today? Very lucky. And today I'm feeling super happy. Thank you. Jasmine Lisette, how do you feel? Yes, Lisette, how do you feel today? Today I don't see, I, I, I am do feeling, you feel super happy. I am feeling. I, I am feeling super happy. Thank you. Now let me ask you, Jose David, how do you feel today? Uh, today I have uh, I am, I am feeling, feeling super happy. Thank you, Alejandra Alvarez. How do you feel today? Today I am feeling super happy. Thank you, Edelmira. How do you feel today? Edelmira, microphone, microphone, oh, mute, mute, mute. Uh -huh. Mm, check el micrófono, no le puedo escuchar, please, please. Brenda, Noemi, tell me, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling happy. Thank you, good job. Tania Arevalo, how do you feel today? Today I'm feeling super happy. Thank you. Carolina de los Ángeles, how do you feel today? Carolina, de micrófono, de micrófono, de micrófono, de micrófono. Microphone, microphone, microphone. I'm feeling so happy. 
Thank you. Vanessa Alexandra, how do you feel today? Today, I am feeling too happy, super Thank happy. Thank you. Idalia, tell me, how do you feel today? Idalia Elizabeth? Adilia. Oh, so Adilia, sorry, I'm kind of blind, so I'm so sorry. Adilia. Uh -huh, so tell today, me. I am feeling super happy. Thank you, Margarita Maria Trejo, how do you feel today? Hi. Today, I, I feel super happy. I am feeling... I am feeling super, super happy. happy. Thank <laughs> you, Tania Arevalo. Tell me, how do you feel today? Thank you. Hmm, no, one second, Tania. Eh, Maria Alberto Peri, Victor Manuel, tell me, how do you feel today? Victor Manuel, Victor Manuel. No, Victor Manuel over there. Reina Benitez, how do you feel today? Reina, Reina, five, four, three, two, no rain in the class. Oscar Edgardo, how do you feel today? Today, I am feeling super happy. Thank you so much. Shedel Mira, how do you feel today? Feeling super happy. Thank you so much. Oh, you have to use her. I'm so sorry. Now, Victor, tell me, how do you feel today? Victor, Victor, no Victor over there. Now. Para los que no contestaron, necesito que contesten. You need to participate. Necesito que practiquen y participen, please, please. Pay attention to the next exercise, please, please. Let me go with my next question. And just give me one second, please, please. Let me open the picture. My favorite food. What is it? My favorite. Okay, let me go with this one. One moment, please, please. And let me go over here. Okay, let me share with you my screen. And this is my question for you right now. Now, everybody repeat after me, please. What is your favorite animal? Everybody, what is your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? Is That's favorite correct. Favorite what is your favorite, favorite animal? Favorite favorite animal. animal. Perfect. Favorite now, animal. let me ask you, what is the meaning of what is your favorite animal in Spanish? Huh? What is the meaning in Spanish? ¿Cuál es tu animal favorito? That's correct. Thank you so much. Favorite. Over here, I will say, my favorite Animal is. My favorite animal. Everybody repeat this. My favorite My animal favorite is. My favorite animal is. That's correct. My Everybody favorite. repeat. repeat. My, favorite My favorite animal is. My favorite animal is. Animal. Ah, animal in the Spanish, no. Animal. With, a, with accent. Con acento. Animal. My favorite Now. Over here, in my personal case, my favorite animal is the lion. Now, everybody repeat this. My favorite animal is the lion. The lion. My favorite animal is the lion. That's my friend. What about you? Tell me, what is your favorite animal? 30 seconds. Write your sentence in your notebook and tell me, what is your favorite animal, please? 30 seconds, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is, what is, what is your favorite animal? Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite animal? Please, please. What is, what is, what is your favorite animal? Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite animal? Please, please. Ten seconds. Ten, ten, ten seconds only. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite animal? Five, four, three, two, one. Let me check your sentences. Over here. Mm, let me see, let me see. Natalia Melissa, tell me, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the dog. Perfect, the dog. Virgilio Ernesto, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is mm -hmm. the lion. The lion. Lion. Repeat, the lion. The lion. Thank you. Saira Marilu, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the lion. The lion. Paul Noemi del Carmen, what is your favorite animal? My favorite uh -huh. is Sorry. the uh -huh. lion. The lion. Cool. Thank you. Daisy Carolina, what is your favorite animal? My favorite 
Uh, animal is the lion. Thank you. What about you, Isabel Beltran? What is your favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal is cat. The cat, cool. Now, what about you, Jasmine Lisset? What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is butterfly. Okay, the butterfly. 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 Thank you, good job. What about you, Maria Wendy Guadalupe? What is your favorite animal? My favorite is animal is the lion. The lion, cool, good pronunciation. What about you, Jose David? Tell me, what is your favorite animal? Uh, my favorite animal is the, la is the tiger. The tiger, cool. Brenda, know me, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the dog. Thank you. What about you, Carolina de Los Angeles? What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the Oh, thank butterfly. you so much. The butterfly. Perfect. Vanessa, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a cat. Thank you. What about you, Adelia Elizabeth? Um, my favorite animal is the turtle. Perfect. Jenny, tell me, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal, animal is the butterfly. The butterfly. Cool, cool. <laughs> what about you, Mario Alberto? What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the shark. The shark. Perfect. What about you, Edelmira? What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal, the lion. The lion. Cool. What about you, Margarita? What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is that. The cat. Cool, cool, cool. What about you, Reina Benitez? What is your favorite animal? Reina, Reina, Reina. No. My favorite animal is lion. Thank you. Oscar Edgardo, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the dog. Thank you. What about you, Victor Manuel? What is your favorite animal? Victor, 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 no, Victor over there. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for your attentions and participations. I appreciate a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's move on to the next thing. Something that you need to have in mind, guys, is that we are going to talk about this one. Okay, let me go with these guys because we need this information. And just give me one second, yes. Okay, let me close this, let me close this. And let me share with you my screen. Now, the first topic or the first thing that we are going to work with is this one. Everybody repeat after me, please. Subject pronouns. Everybody, subject pronouns. Subject pronouns. That's the topic over here. Now, everybody repeat after me, please. I. I. Now, everybody, you. 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 He. 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 She. 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 It. 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 We. 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 You. You. They. They. Now, let me ask you, what is the meaning of I in Spanish? Yo. That's correct. What is the meaning of you in Spanish? That's correct. What is the meaning of he in Spanish? What is the meaning of she in Spanish? That's correct. What is the meaning of it in Spanish? That's correct. Eso, eso, eso. eso. Now, what is the meaning of we in Spanish? Nosotros. That's correct. What is the meaning of you in Spanish? Ustedes, that's correct. And what is the meaning of they in Spanish? Ellos. That's correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is about, guys, subject pronouns. Esto es de los subject pronouns, or how we call it in Spanish? Pronombres. That will be the name. Pronouns, pronouns, pronouns. So this is about this. And let me ask you. Are we clear with the pronouns? Estamos claros con los subject pronouns? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Are we clear? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes. Now, yes. let me share with you the picture because we need the picture in WhatsApp. 
Just let me share with you this in WhatsApp. Let me go to WhatsApp. And there you have the picture. So that's the picture about the subject pronouns. So right now, let me share with you my next presentation over here. So once we know the subject pronouns, guys, once we talk about the subject pronouns, we are going to talk about this, possessive adjectives. And for this, guys, just let me go with this. And let me go over here with you. Now, over here, we have the presentation about the possessive adjectives. In other words, guys, the possessive adjectives in Spanish will be adjetivos possessivos. So that will be the topic. So for these guys, we are going to talk about this. And let me put the personal pronouns and the subject pronouns. I mean, subject pronouns is the same as personal pronouns. Los sujetos, eh, los subject pronouns son lo mismo que los personal pronouns, lo mismo. Now, los possessive adjectives are different. And let me explain why. Now, subject pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. We already know this. Now, the possessive adjective for I, guys, is my. Everybody repeat after me, please. My, my, my. My, 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 my. my, my, my. my. For you my, guys, my. the possessive adjective is your, 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 your. your. Perfect. For he guys, the possessive adjective is he. 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 He's. 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 That's correct. For she, the possessive adjective is her. 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 For her. it, the possessive her. adjective is it. It is. It. For we, the possessive adjective is our. 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 Uh, and for, uh, in this uh, case, guys, for they, the possessive adjective is der. Der, der, der. So der. this is about, guys, the possessive adjectives. Now, let me explain what is the meaning in Spanish. Just give me one second. Let me stop sharing. Be careful with the microphones, please. Put it on mute. Everybody on mute, on mute, on mute. Listen, please. Be careful with the microphone. Saira, Mighty Lou, be careful over there. Let me go with this possessive adjectives. Okay, let me open this picture because we need this picture and this will help you with the meaning in Spanish. Now for the possessive adjectives, guys, so we can understand the topic. Let me stop sharing. Let me stop over here and let me share with you my screen over here. So we have that the possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, it's, our, your, and their, right? But what is the meaning in Spanish of my? My. What is the meaning in Spanish? My. Mio. Me. No. Me. What is the meaning in Spanish? Yo. No. My. What is the meaning in Spanish? In Spanish. Me, miss. That's correct. Me. Thank you so much. Me, what miss. is the What is the meaning in Spanish of your? That's correct. What is the meaning in Spanish of his? But what is the difference? Masculino. Masculino. That's correct. Now, her, what is the meaning in Spanish? That's correct. Feminine. That's correct. Or female. Now, in this case, what is the positive? But no, 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 that's correct. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now for these guys, just be careful with the microphone, please. I have too much background noise. Thank you so much. Now over here, this is about possessive adjectives. In other words, about los adjetivos posesivos. So let me share with you this in WhatsApp because we need the picture. And let me go with this. One second, one second, one second. Plus is plus. Okay, now just give me one second, please. 
possessive. Okay, over here it is. Okay, now let me explain to you what is the possessive adjective, how it works, como funciona. Let me put it over here and I will say. It. Now, first guys, something that you need to understand is that the possessive adjective is showing a possession or a relationship. What is a possession, guys, in Spanish? Possession. Possession. What is that in Spanish? Possession y relación. No. What is possession in Spanish? Possession. That's correct. What is relationship in Spanish? Relación. That's correct. Two different things. We are going to talk about possession and relationships. Now, we can possess objects. Nosotros podemos poseer objetos. We can possess objects. Why? Because you pay for the objects. For example, my cell phone, my headset, my computer. This is because I pay for the computer, I pay for the cell phone, and I pay for my headset. But with people and animals, we cannot have possession. Let me put it in simple words. Can you possess your mother? ¿Puede usted poseer a su mamá? No. 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 Even no. though you want no. to possess your mother, si usted quiere controlar a su mamá, you cannot do it. No lo puede hacer. Why? Because your mother is free to do whatever she wants to do. Su madre es libre de hacer lo que ella quiera hacer sin que nadie le diga nada. So she is free. So you have a relationship with your mother. Usted tiene una relación con su mamá, no una posesión. So... When you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, or wife, cuando tiene una esposa, esposo, novia o novio, lo que sea que tenga, it is a relationship, the same, es una relación. It is not a position. So when you are like, give me your phone, I'm going to check your Facebook and Instagram, I will check the text, the WhatsApp and everything, that's not a relationship. Cuando usted está checando los mensajes de su pareja, even though así le estén poniendo el cuerno, no, that's possession. Eso es possession, no es relación. So, vamos de algo normal a algo que ya se convierte en algo como le llamamos ahora en día, tóxico. So, we have to be careful on that. Porque con personas no podemos ser posesivos. Never, ever, ever. Nunca. Never. You only have a relationship no, no, with people. Jamás. Only, only a relationship. And my examples are these ones. My mom, everybody repeat, please. My mom. My mom. My mom. My dog. My mom. My dog. Now let me ask you. My mom is a possession or a relationship? Relationship. Relationship. My dog is a possession my or a relationship? My relationship. A relationship. Now, the same. Así usted pague por el perrito, el perrito es libre de ir al baño, de comer cuando él quiera. So you cannot control the dog. Usted no puede controlar al perro. Never, never, ever. Now, my car, everybody, my car. Possession. Is a possession or a relationship? A possession. A possession. A possession. A possession. Perfect. My cell phone, a possession or a relationship? A possession. A possession as well. So this is about, guys, possessive adjectives. So, ¿qué van a mostrar las possessive adjectives, guys? Possession or relación. So it will depend on you. Va a depender de usted. Se está hablando de una persona o de un objeto. So you show possession or relationship. Let me go with this. I will share this in WhatsApp and we are going to practice. So let me go with this. Then let me share with you the family members. Now everybody repeat after me, please. Mom. Mom. Mom, mom, mom. Dad. Dad, dad, dad. Grandma, grandma, brother, brother, and sister. And sister. Now, what are you going to do, guys? We are going to create sentences with the possessive adjectives. First, I would say. My grandma. Okay. Everybody repeat, please. My grandma. My grandma. My 
My grandma. My grandma. My grandma. Now, my grandma mm. is my relationship grandma. or possession? Relationship. 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 So, my grandma, my mom, my dad, my sister, your sister, his brother, your brother, and so on. That's possession. No, that's relationship. So, you got 30 seconds. Give me one example, please, using possessive adjectives. One example using possessive adjectives, please, please. Un ejemplo utilizando possessive adjectives. With the family members, con los miembros de la familia. Go. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, create one sentence. For example, yeah. your father, your mother, eh, your grandpa, his grandpa, her grandpa. Mother. One example, one example, please explain. Yeah. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, why moon? Hmm? Por qué mama moon? In that case, it's because it's from the United States. That's why they put it like that. Porque son de Estados Unidos, por eso lo pusieron así. But it's con O, con una O. Mom. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let me go with this and let me check your sentences. Let me start with Jenny and Elizabeth. Give me your example. Jenny, Jenny, your example, your example. Jenny, Jenny, your example. Five, four, three, two, one. No, no, no. Practice, practice. Over here, no existe el no. Que se les quite el no para mañana, please. Now, Noemi, tell me, what is your example? Oh. Uh -huh. Example, example. Five, four, three, two, one. My brother. Yes, good job. Saira, your example. Uh, cousin. Um, but what? Her cousin, your cousin, my cousin, what? What is the possessive? Uh, my cousin. Thank you. Now, my Jose David, your example? My sister. My dad. Thank you. What about you, Miguel Angel? What is your example? Miguel Angel, Miguel Angel, 54321. Hello, example. hello, teacher. Tell me. Uh, my sister. My thank sister. you. Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Virgilio, your example, please. My cousin. Thank you. Daisy, your example. Well, yes. My Daisy. my mom. Thank you. Good job. Is Bell your example? My sister. Thank you. Jasmine Lizette, your example. Jasmine, my Jasmine. Thank you so much. What about you, Maria Wendy? Your example. My dad. Thank you. Maria Alberto, your example. My cousin. Thank you. Edelmira, your example. My sister. Thank you. Tania Arevalo, your example. Tania, Tania. Oh, mute, mute, mute. My yes. brother. Thank you. Adilia, your My example, brother. please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tania. My sister. Thank you. Margarita Maria, your example. My dog. Thank you. Victor Manuel, your example. My brother. Perfect. Carolina de Los Angeles, your example. Can you, can you. Carolina, Carolina de Los Angeles. No other. Okay, cool. Veronica Jamilet, your example. Veronica, Veronica. Thank you so much. Brenda Noemi, your example. No está. Brenda Noemi. No, there. Okay. My sister. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Vanessa Alexandra, your example? My grandma. Thank you. Alejandra Alvarez, your example? My mother. Thank you. Reina Benitez, your example? My grandpa. Thank you. Oscar Edgardo, your example, please? My brother. Thank you. Edelmira, your example, please? My brother. Thank you, and Victor already participated. So thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate it a lot. You see, you can do it over there. You are doing good. And now let me go with this information because this is essential. Super, super essential about this. Now let me go with this. And let me go over here. What is your name? Everybody repeat after me, please. What is your name? 
What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? My name is Christian. Now everybody repeat please. My name is Christian. My name is Christian. That's My correct. Name is Christian. Perfect. Thank you so much. Second question. How old are you? Now everybody repeat please. How old are you? That's correct. How, 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 are how, how, are how, how, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Perfect. Now, I am you? 27 years old. Everybody repeat this. I am 27 old. years old. 27 years old. Perfect. Now, let's go with the next one. Where are you from? Where are you where are, you where, are you where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Now everybody repeat this. I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Now next one. Where do what? you we do live? You? Now everybody repeat please. Where, where do you live? Where do you live? Perfect. Where do you live? Over here I will say, I live in where do you live? Santa Ana. Now everybody repeat this. I live in Santa Ana. I live in Santa Ana. That's correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the next question, where do you work? Everybody repeat please. Where do you work? Where, where do you work? Where do and you I work? will say over where here. Where do you work? I work. Where do you work? Where do you work? At work. I work. I work. Support at programs. programs. Program. Now everybody repeat this. I work. I at work. In support work. programs. At where do you work? In support programs. Where That's do correct. you work? Now in I other words, guys. Work? I this work. is about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Now, this is the information. What is the meaning of what is your name in Spanish, guys? What is your name? That's correct. How old are you in Spanish? Where are you from in Spanish? De donde eres. Where do you live? Donde no, vives? No, 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 vives. Perfect. Where do you work? Donde trabajas. Traba. Traba. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So right now, guys, you are going to tell me about yourself. Please, please. I will give you a total of two minutes in the breakup rooms. Les voy a dar dos minutos en las breakup rooms. So you can practice about yourself. Please, please. Just let me send this in WhatsApp so you can practice. Why now, let me share this. So tell me, what is your name over here? Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the group. My tell me. So tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh. What is your name? How old are you? Oh. Where are you from? Where do you live? Where do you work? So tell me, tell me, tell me, please, please. What are, in this tell case, me tell me, tell me, tell me about your names. Just let me recreate the rooms, please. What's your name? My what name is how old are oh, you? No. All the where, okay, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Where do you okay, live? Recreate. Okay, let's I go to the breakup rooms Santana. right now. Where do you work? Let's go, let's I go, work let's go, 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 let Okay, let me put the timer and let me go over here. Creo que tenemos que ensayar la frase. Las así, preguntas vamos a ensayar. Así es. Yes. Así que no sé quién quiere iniciar. Eh, yo. Practice, practice, practice the questions, please, please. Practice, practice the questions, please, please. You need to practice. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Bye, Nesepe. 
You need to practice. Ahora hurry ya. up, hurry up, hurry up. Practice, practice, practice. <risa> <risa> en eso está muy... You need to practice. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Practice, practice, practice. Please, please. Practice, practice, practice. Please, please. You need to practice. Ahora ya. Please, please, please. Practice, 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 practice. Hi, teacher. Hi. Let me take a screenshot. And the screenshot all right here. Ah, what's under it? Where do you work? Uh, I work at uh, Funerales Las Flores. Mm. I am Okay, 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 guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for practicing. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for getting ready. I appreciate it, appreciate it a lot. Now we are going to start and let's start over here with Victor Manuel. Tell me, what is your name? Victor, Victor, Victor Manuel, what is your name? Victor Manuel Ramirez, five, four, three, two, one, no, over there. Okay, Veronica Jamilet, what is your name? You're on mute, microphone, microphone, yes. My name is Veronica. Thank you, Noemi del Carmen, what is your name? You're on mute, Noemi, the microphone, microphone, microphone. Microphone, microphone, mm. yes. My Tell name me. is Noemi del Carmen. Thank you so much. Jose David, what is your name? Uh, my name is... The David Rodriguez. Thank you. What about you, Janice? How old are you? Uh, I am 41 years old. Thank you so much. 31 years old. Adelia, tell me, how old are you? How are you? Uh, I am 26 years old. Thank you so much. What about you, Jasmine Listep? Tell me, how old are you? My name is Jasmine. Thank you so much. What about you, Jasmine? Just be careful with how old are you. ¿Cuántos años tiene? No su nombre. I am, remember. Isabel, tell me, how old are you? I am 15. Uh, thank, you, thank, you. thank you so much. What about you, Edelmira? How old are you? Edelmira, you are on mute. No, 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 no. Del mira, del mira. Oh, mute, microphone, microphone, microphone. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Oh, mute, oh, mute, oh, mute. Microphone, oh, mute, mute, mute. Aha. How old are you? How old are you? Aha. How old are you? 22. Mm, no Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I'm so sorry. Check the Google Translator. Margarita, tell me, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Thank you. Zaira Marilu, <laughs> tell me, where are you from? Uh, I am from El Salvador. Thank you. Mario Alberto, tell me, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Thank you. Maria Wendy, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Thank you, Daisy Carolina. Where are you from? I I am from El Salvador. Thank you, Miguel Angel. Where do you live? Miguel Angel, where do you live? Miguel, Miguel, Miguel. Miguel, you are on mute. No microphone over there. Brenda, Noemi, where do you live? I live in Cabañas. 
Thank you. Good job. Victor Manuel Ramirez, where do you live? I do you you live San I live, I live, I live, I live in San Vicente. Uh -huh. I live San Vicente. San Vicente, San Vicente. Ah, uh -huh. repeat. I live in. I live in San Vicente. Thank you. That's better. Natalia Melissa, tell me, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Thank you. That's good. What about you, Virgilio? Where do you live? I live in Usulután. Thank you. You live in Usulután. Cool, cool, cool. What about you, Tania Arevalo? Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Thank you so much. Let me go with me, this. Teacher. Tell me. Excuse me, teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I am Miguel. Tell me. I am Lim Cuscatlan. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate. Now, what about you? Tell me, Carolina, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Thank you so much. What about you? Tell me, where are you from, please? Let me go with Alejandra Alvarez. Where are you from? Where, where, where are you from? Alejandra? No, Alejandra over there. Okay, tell me with the next question, please. What is your name? And let me go with mm, 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 Oscar. Tell me, what is your name? My name is Oscar. Thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. What about you? Let me see, Carolina. Tell me, what is your name? Carolina, Carolina. No, Carolina de Los Angeles. Okay. Now, let me go with these guys. For tomorrow, practice about, tell me about yourself. What is your name? How old are you? Where are you from? Where do you live? Where do you work? So tell me, tell me, tell me for tomorrow about yourself. So I will put it over here. Well, I think it's with our age also. So please practice, practice, practice about yourself, please, please. For example, my name is Christian Mueller. I am 27 years old. I am from El Salvador. I live in Santa Ana. I work for in several programs. That's about myself. Now you tell me about yourself, but you need to practice, practice, practice. And remember that you need to do your homework in the platform. So please, 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 you need to do the homework in the platform for tomorrow. Let me switch into Spanish. Recuerde hacer su tarea en plataforma. Recuerde practicar a tell me about yourself. Y recuerde también practicar los possessive adjectives para mañana. Why? Porque mañana continuamos con la misma práctica. So this is all for today's class, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Gracias por conectarse. ¿Alguna pregunta, consulta o duda before we go? No. Okay, cool. Now, so let's put okay. Tell me. Piense que no puede entrar a la plataforma y escribir al. No, thank you. Al no, mm -hmm. no se podría me podría atender en horas de laboral. Ok, voy a hablar yo con él mañana y yo le soluciono lo de plataforma mañana. Don't worry. Ok, gracias. Oh, thank you. Now, solo espero para mañana, por favor, quítense el vocabulario el no. No sé, no puedo, no entiendo, no sé nada de inglés. No. Aquí todos estamos desde cero, todos están aprendiendo lo mismo que yo les estoy dando y todos estamos aquí por lo mismo. Yo solo sigue el ejemplo que le doy y produzca lo mismo usted, solo le tiene que cambiar una palabrita nada más, pero lo, yo lo que tiene que decir o lo que tiene que hablar, yo se lo doy. So please quitémonos el no porque el no no existe, es una barrera mental que no nos va a ayudar a progresar y no nos va a ayudar a aprender. Créanme, ha sido un placer para mí estar este día con ustedes. Sé que la hora se pasa súper rápido. Si tienen alguna duda, consulta, pregunta, me lo hacen saber y yo con gusto les contesto en WhatsApp. Ya les envío material extra después de que acabe la siguiente clase y yo les envío todo para que practiquen para mañana. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank see you. you. See you. Bye. Bye bye.